Okay, uh, using the same course as the last video with the mags, uh, I said I was going to do one with less mags, but I wanted to show this first. Um, I hooked it up to the pulser, which pulses. I tried some different toroids. I got this one that's similar to the ones in the pictures that were shown in the thread. I used this one. This one was pre-wound, and it had three parallel wires, so... I put them all in series. Um, it does pretty well, but it does no better in this configuration than this one. Uh, it, the, the output voltage here, what I have is um, a little yellow toroid core inside this coil held in with a piece of this cardboard tubing and the magnet's path. There's a gap there. It's, it's about an eighth of an inch in there. And on the bottom, there's a hair of a gap, too, because of the plastic, um, whereas this fits in nice and tight. And this one just needed a little bit of sticky tape on the top and bottom, and she fits in there tight, too. But the, the output that I'm getting from it is not worth wasting the battery on the meter. Um, so the amount of flux that's coming out of here is so strong that it doesn't care about much uh, of going with whatever direction. Um, so w by trying to connect and disconnect these parts of the cores is very, very tiny change over here as compared to what you might think for the size of it. Um, just wanted to show because I don't think we've seen anything really put together yet. Um, like I said, it's not worth hooking up <laughs> and wasting uh, any more time on it than just showing uh, the configuration. Um, tried the Orbon cores in here also, each one. Uh, no difference. The voltage generated out is less than point zero something um, so uh, that's just uh, part two now I'm going to go to changing these down to two and we're going to see what kind of force we have here alright thanks